After decapitation, the decapitated head remains conscious for a really brief moment, potentially allowing the person to see his own head falling off to the ground before dying. Pre-ground coffee may contain cockroaches, as an FDA study showed that up to 10% of green coffee beans become infested with roaches and other insects. They're unable to get processed completely, so they just get roasted up with the beans. More than half of the cells in your body are not human, but are microbial cells like bacteria, viruses, fungi, and other microbes. These organisms play essential roles in digestion and immunity, but they can also turn against us if disrupted. Infertility is more common than people normally think. For example, 10 to 20% of pregnancies end up in a miscarriage, which is pretty high. Our solar system is filled with space junk. Thousands of dead satellites, spent rocket stages, and fragments orbit the Earth. If this debris continues to accumulate, it could lead to Kessler syndrome, where collisions create more debris, eventually trapping us on Earth and making space travel impossible. The tongue-eating louse is a crustacean that attaches itself to the tongue of a fish and feeds on its blood until the tongue dies and falls off. The louse then replaces the tongue, essentially becoming a living prosthetic organ while continuing to feed off the fish. It's rare, but a species called sheep nasal botflies can deposit larvae directly into the nostrils of mammals, humans included. They hover near the nostrils of their host and spray live larvae into the nose, where they develop before exiting. Helium, the thing we put in balloons and inhale to get a squeaky voice, is also used in important technologies like MRIs, but it's so light that Earth's gravity cannot contain it, so we're losing it as time passes. It's running out, and when we won't have any left, many technologies will stop working. The magnetic field of objects usually reverses at regular intervals, and Earth is overdue for the switch. When it happens, we don't know what it will cause, but it's expected that we'll see extreme weather events, that most technology will break and take a while to fix, and that animals that rely on magnetic fields like birds, fish, bees, and turtles will be so confused that they will either get lost or die. Heart muscle cells don't reproduce much in adults, roughly 1% per year. So when a stressor such as a heart disease kills them, they don't get replaced. It's one of the main reasons patients need heart transplants. Plants take in CO2 gas and convert it into carbohydrates. But since CO2 is increasing in the atmosphere due to pollution, plants are producing more and more carbohydrates. The mineral, micronutrient, and protein amounts, however, are not increasing, thus making it necessary for us to consume more carbs to get the necessary nutrients. This might be a contributing factor to the obesity epidemic. Around one-third of the world's population is infected with the parasite Toxoplasma gondii in their brain, and for a long time, it's been thought to have been a benign presence that didn't cause any trouble. But recent statistical research shows that it might have an impact on anger and self-unalivement attempts. To further research this, we'd need more global coordination, which is pretty difficult. What is feasible, though, is achieving incredible coordination and efficiency in smaller units, like businesses, especially thanks to tools like Odoo, today's sponsor. Odoo is basically your all-in-one business console, offering dozens of tools in a single platform and under a single subscription. They're designed to be as intuitive as possible, so not only do you avoid paying for each tool separately, you also don't have to learn how to use each one individually. Let's take a look, for example, at their inventory tool. You can automate vendor reminders, keep track of receipts, delivery orders, order statuses, including which ones are late, and much more. You can also handle payments, schedule deliveries, check stock levels, and even manage warehouses within the same app. And since everything is integrated into one platform, the inventory app syncs seamlessly with the e-commerce and sales apps. You can probably see by now just how convenient all of this is. Speaking of the sales app, just look at how intuitive the Kanban view is. You can simply drag and drop items through different stages. It's super easy to add details, notes, contacts, and whatever else you need. These are just two of the dozens of tools Odoo offers, and you can try them for free for 14 days with no credit card required through the link in the description. Thanks again to Odoo for sponsoring today's video. Our immune system doesn't recognize our eyes as part of our bodies, and if it somehow starts to know that your eyes are there, they'll begin attacking them thinking that they're foreign objects. Alzheimer's disease and other neurodegenerative diseases usually start decades before the obvious symptoms start to show up, meaning that once we see them, it's already too late. The Yellowstone supervolcano in the United States erupts roughly every 600,000 or 700,000 years, and it's overdue. When it erupts, not only will the local area be damaged by massive explosions, lava flows that obliterate anything in their path, and an ash fall that can collapse buildings, suffocate living creatures, and contaminate water supplies, but there will also be global damages, mainly caused by the ash cloud that would block out the sun, causing a big drop in temperatures called volcanic winter. There is an anomaly in space called the Great Attractor that pulls anything close enough around it towards it. The Milky Way galaxy and so Earth are also getting attracted by this thing. We have no idea what the thing that is pulling us is, as it's not visible because it lies within the same plane as our own galaxy. 
Antibiotics have been abused for so long that various bacteria strains are evolving to survive them. This will cause normally treatable infections to become deadly in the near future if no other way to kill them is found. While the average person assumes that CPR has a rate of success of around 75%, in reality, it's barely 10. It's why it's the last resort and time is so important. It's said that for every minute between the collapse and the administration of a shock via an AED, the chance of survival drops by 10%. Genetic engineering is a double-edged sword, enabling incredible medical progress, but also giving humans, who are not known for always having the best intentions, the knowledge to hack organisms. It's only a matter of time before the tools and knowledge to create an undetectable, incredibly contagious, and deadly virus are accessible to everyone. There are some places in space that are considered dead ends, where the expansion of the universe between you and them is so great that even if you traveled at light speed, you'd never reach the destination. You also can't go back, as the universe is expanding too fast and your home is receding faster than you can fly to, so you're stuck there. The most powerful nuclear bomb ever created, the Tsar Bomb. It's 3,000 times more powerful than the original nuclear bombs, and its power is 10 times that of every single munition used in World War II combined, including the two nuclear bombs. When tested on a remote island, they saw that the shockwave from the blast circled the globe nine times. The Dark Forest Hypothesis says that we haven't been in contact with other alien species because they've been hiding from each other, remaining silent to survive. If aliens are intelligent enough to have the technology to contact us, they likely also have the technology to destroy us. Researchers have found viruses in the Arctic permafrost that have remained frozen for tens of thousands of years and have never been in contact with humans. For this exact reason, if the permafrost started melting and released these viruses into the world, we'd have no immunity to it, potentially becoming deadly. There's a solar event known as a coronal mass ejection that basically consists of a massive burst of radiation able to envelop Earth, acting as an EMP that disables electronic devices. The last time a big one hit Earth was when we had telegraph lines, which spontaneously caught fire. If it were to happen now, we'd have just a few days warning, and it would cause planes to shut down, vehicles to not start, and lots of electric devices would stop working if not break, impacting our entire infrastructure for years. Gamma ray bursts are extremely powerful and bright flashes of very high energy light, being the second most energetic event in the universe after the Big Bang. And in the event one gets emitted towards us, all life on Earth would be wiped out. There is nothing to stop them. At any moment, a sphere of influence may spread anywhere without warning, rewriting the laws of physics and chemistry where it spreads and possibly making life impossible inside it. It could happen in an atom in your body, in your phone, or in any other place. If a future engineer is able to create nanobots so small that you can't see them without a microscope, but designed to build more of themselves using every material around them, because of exponential growth, we would be swarmed by them even if one of them got out, and we wouldn't notice until it's too late. They would pretty much be impossible to stop, using every material the Earth has to reproduce, creating a gray goo. There is a certain type of protein called prions that is usually folded, and they're especially present in the brain. The problem is that if they misfold into an abnormal shape, it can trigger other normal prions to misfold, setting off a chain reaction. We don't know much about them, and if someone gets them, since they're mostly found in the brain, it will cause death within two years. There is no cure. Humans rely on evaporating sweat to stay cool, but when humidity gets too high, sweat doesn't evaporate. This makes relatively low heat temperatures deadly, like 35 degrees Celsius or 95 degrees Fahrenheit. When those temperatures are reached with 100% humidity, it's called a wet bulb, and by 2050 scientists predict multiple wet bulb events in the North China Plain, where approximately 400 million people live. If you want to discuss this video or suggest an idea for the next one, join my Discord. Link in the description.